the American people today, if they knew the whole story of what the security apparatus in the United States military and in the United States government were doing to them and to their so-called constitutional guarantees, they'd be rioting in the streets. The Defense Intelligence Agency and every one of the, I think maybe at least two dozen major security organizations in our government concluded that beyond the shadow of a doubt, this secret must be kept not only from the American people, but from the world population at large. And as a result of that decision, they have created a worldwide conspiracy among governments to keep the lid on this secret. Now, let me share with you what some of the four major conclusions of the assessment were in 1964. In 1964, they had determined, at least this is in the NATO study, and I know for a fact that this is the conclusions that had been reached by our own military as early as 1949. Number one, planet Earth is and has been the subject of an extensive, massive, a very thorough and detailed study by several, several extraterrestrial civilizations. Now that's an attention getter in itself. Number two, these civilizations have demonstrated an extremely advanced technology, possibly hundreds or even thousands of years beyond our own. It, it, it gets better. There seems to be a process or a plan of some kind unfolding. The studies indicated and demonstrated that a development of some kind of program was underway. Evidence collected indicated that the program has been going on for a very long time, possibly hundreds or even thousands of years, and some of my associates, research fellows, and I have concluded it's probably been going on longer than that. The study concluded that there did not appear to be a major military threat involved in 1964. That if they, whoever they are, were malevolent or hostile, there was absolutely nothing we could do because the level of technology that had been demonstrated was so far beyond anything we had in 1964 that we felt that if they were hostile or malevolent, the game was up, it was all over with. What we are addressing here and dealing with is indeed the major issue of our time. It goes beyond the Soviet disillusion of the Soviet Union, it goes beyond the Cold War, it goes beyond politics, the recent election, it goes beyond the famines, the revolutions, the terror in Yugoslavia, it goes beyond any major human problem that we are currently dealing with on this planet. Because this problem has been with us for thousands of years and is indeed the major issue of our time. And I hope you will agree with me when I'm finished as to why. The assessment was about an inch and a half, maybe an inch and three quarters thick. The study itself in its conclusions it was supported by approximately eight inches of annexes supporting documents supporting studies supporting research there were annexes on radar and electromagnetic effects there was an annex on optical and light analysis a beautiful annex on photographic and holographic analysis there was historical research and evidence they went to some of the top people in England at Oxford and, Oxford and Cambridge on the historical evidence. There was metallurgical and technical analysis. There were atmospheric physics studies, biological analysis and autopsies. The three issues that I thought of at the time of being the most important were the psychological studies and the impact upon the human race, sociological effects and implications, and probably what I have considered to be the most important annex and study of all in terms of its effect upon the world population is the theological implications and impact.